Welcome back, one and all, to Red Dead Redemption 2. I am the Dark Seraph. Last time we did poker and memes, and yeah, this is another post one. I don't know why the audio screwed up. It's getting a little better, I've noticed, but it'll still be probably till maybe part 52 when it's live commentary. I don't quite remember what I did here or recorded this a while ago. So I've actually got. So I really don't even know. Jose's got something. Uh, looks like Dutch has something, maybe Bill. I don't know. I also did some camp upgrades. Good morning, Arthur. My lady. Morning, Arthur. There he is. Yeah, I, I guess I don't even know. I, I don't like post commentary. I just, I just sort of keep. I just, I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> I need a word with you, Morgan. Fuck off. Bob. Oh, it's a horse. Arthur, we need to talk to you. What do you want, Bill? It? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense and... I don't know. I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. How come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. I mean, no one was expecting well, Cornwall to show up. To well, hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy. But I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. And if we're serious? No. Just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's I do a have bloodstained ritual so, of the night. Is the take good? According to the fella I met, in yes. That. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> Okay, I suppose. It's worth taking a look at least. I'm gonna be performing. I better go get changed out of these rags. Give me a minute, gentlemen. Okay. So, Bill, this better be good. It is good. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. Mr. Morgan. Herr Strauss. That man. The debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Oh, wonderful. Huh. Well, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. He lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan then? Oh, well, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> sounds fun. All right. So now we ride to rob a bank. Because bank robbing is fun. And really, who, who wouldn't want to rob a bank? In a game, of course. If you want to rob a bank in real life, then you need to go see someone. So, I, I, don't, I don't know what to tell you other than you might be a little disturbed in the head. Oh boy, I can pick up the TV in the other room. That's, that's wonderful. Freaking wonderful. It's very faint, but I can't hear it. I don't even think you'll be able to hear it in the audio because it's not being picked up on the audio track. Oh, it can go wrong. Oh, Lord. Once the shooting starts. I hope that isn't being picked up on the audio track. If it is, it's very faint and very low. We'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, 
We'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers always like the lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot boy like me. <laughs> Edith should work. Once she's got them distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you always fancy yourself as the vault man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. Hey, I'm more than willing. Nah, best I do it. Oh, and did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Lord. I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. Seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. We got a lot of irons in that fire right now. Yes, I know, Morgan. So, how are you feeling about this, Lenny? Well, at first I thought it was a bad idea. But then I figured they all lie if you think about them long enough. Certainly have been recently. I mean, why the hell not? Roll with it. I just told them we needed you along. Well, I appreciate the confidence, Kip. And if we didn't rob this bank, we really would be slipping. Thoughts like that. And you're one of us, no doubt. Sure hope so. This is actually one of the more fun ones. Yes, I remember we're doing this, this one. Then. You did well with that gang at Shady Bell. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> and I heard the rest of them have moved on from there now, so we must have sent enough of a message. I reckon so. <laughs> I ain't lose much sleep over them fellas. Me neither. They'd have loved nothing more than to strang me up. That weren't gonna happen. Not through lack of trying. Nah, uh, not to you. You'll outlive a lot of us. Good haul, too. That dynamite should come in real useful today. Yeah, if we can even get near the bank without someone recognizing us and raising hair. Well, we'll have to see about that. Just keep your eyes open. I'm pretty sure the folks in Valentine would love to string you up, too, Lenny. Reckon we'll skip the saloon this time, kid. <laughs> no doubt. But not to forget. Yeah, next time I know what you mean by a couple of drinks. <laughs> whiskey's got me in more trouble than a pistol ever has. What's that about whiskey? Uh, <laughs> keep going, Miss Jones. So, go through the plan again. Karen's going first. Put on a bit of a show. Then we'll move in once they're off guard. Okay. Whatever works. You and Lenny are alone for this, Karen. Someone's got to keep you boys out of trouble. I ain't sure even Lenny can be relied on to keep his head. Not after that night you two had in Valentine. Yeah, I've been trying to forget that. What little I remember of it. You've always been a bad drunk. And before you say it, I know. Takes one to know one. <laughs> Guess we'll never learn. And Bill ain't much better. So should we stop for some whiskey? <laughs> <laughs> we'll wait till after the bank, all right? Passing you. After you. Bet you didn't think we'd end up over this way. So what's going on with these two families? The Grays and whatever the other one's called? It's more Dutch and Jose's thing. An old feud they're trying to get in the middle of. If it plays right, they reckon we can get some gold out of it. Never can resist a scam, those two. Dutch already managed to get us deputized. We got the biggest price on our hands west of Chicago, and now yeah, they're talking. we're talking. I need to check my phone real quick. I'm sure he knows what he's doing. I don't know where my phone is. I have to wait. We're here. Let's take it nice and easy. Oh well, I'll check that later. It's probably in the other room. Shit. 
I would like to point out that wasn't me this time. Just putting that out there. It wasn't me this time. And follow me, fellers. So, we never decided. Is it lost little girl you want, or the drunken harlot? Yes, 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 that's what I'm doing. So which one? Let's see the lost little girl. Uh, I think I'd like to see the little girl lost. So even you long to save the fallen women, eh, Arthur? You break my heart. <laughs> you really do. <laughs> Crocodile tears. If you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Okay, we're going. No, uh, hold on. Wait till she's gotten real down. Would you care to? I'm a child, and it's just I don't want to go back to the workhouse. Get your goddamn right, go. hands up! Go. This is a goddamn robbery! Nobody move! No ah. word up! Nobody move! Don't make us hurt you! Here! Unlock the door! Well, that's escalated quickly. It's unlocked! We're good! Oh, oh you think oh. we're here? Oh. Oh. Come on! Oh. Oh. Yeah. Let's fuck him up! Open that goddamn vault! Oh. Oh. Open it! Oh. Oh. Don't make me hurt you. How's it looking? Are you in? Nearly. This son of a bitch needs to get a move on. Okay. Okay. Let's fuck with this guy a little bit. Oh. Hurry up. I, I'm going as fast as I can. That ain't fast enough. Oh, I said hurry up, you son of a bitch. I am doing it. Getting closer to Just your hand. The damn door. Get over here. There you go. I gotta take a nap. I'm in. Someone come make sure the shoot behaves himself in here. Come here. <laughs> Open the lock boxes now. I uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I God damn it! Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Let's blow the saves. Reckon I'm gonna have to blow them. Okay. We gotta move before they blow. Oh. The law will be all over us. <sighs> now you shut the hell up and be still. Now at this point, you just... You can either crack the saves, which I didn't do because I didn't want to waste time with that. 
So let's... I now I need to move away so the blast doesn't fucking kill me. One down. I think that's what five to go. We're gonna get rich here, buddy. I hear people out there. Me too. Boys, you need to move this along. I'll go check the front. How are you getting on? Going as fast as I can. And there's an update ready to install.
bodies of Lancaster or Peter. We got more coming in! Yeah. I think this went rather well. Stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. We're alive and we're No, seriously, thanks, Bill. That was fun. And that is the problem. Bill, <laughs> this you. is a very good take. That should be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp and make sure you ain't followed. Now I gotta go to the Downs Ranch and collect a debt. Yep. I don't think it's very far. Turkeys. So Man, I might as well collect the one that I just ran over with my horse. Okay then, girl. Bush fire broke out. Here I check the map just to see where it is, and yeah, it ain't far. There's a bounty along that river, and only five dollar bounty in Valentine for robbing a bank and killing most of the law. Yeah, five dollars. That's, yeah, it's a hot spot for trouble, but I don't know what else to say. It's a $5 bounty for robbing a bank and shooting up a tent and killing most of the law. Yeah.
I know there was a lot of controversy about Rockstar putting that crunch on the Red Dead 2 team, but Red Dead Whoa. Rockstar was in a situation with that where they would not win. Simply put, the game had been delayed a few times already, and people were pissed about that. Put in an unfinished game, people get fist, pit fist, pissed. Delay it again and push it out even longer, people get pissed and possibly lose interest and cost sales. Put too much crunch on your pit team and people get pissed. They were in a, they were in a lose lose situation. Don't put a. That's the problem with a lot of games lately in general that. My husband's not cold in the ground and you've come back here, Archie. I yeah, you, you, there's a lot of problems. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, this. I'm real sorry about you, you, the way you things have turned out. Friggin he had a choice. Hey, my fault about obligations the to put it up, but you choice. can't freaking expect people to be like good. that. There wasn't no choice in that. I don't think people would have been and too upset over another yourself. delay, but you yourself. delay it too many you times and people are going to lose interest and you're going to lose sales. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. Well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, oh, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. That was a wise word, Next Arthur. to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. Get a nice shot of the mountainside, mountains and the countryside. But I wonder what Arthur meant by vengeance is an idiot's game. Was he talking about Dutch? Or was he talking about himself? We'll have to wait and see now, won't we? some sniffing around see if I can drum up some leads well do it quietly and make sure those leads don't lead right to Cornwall again not the best quality I'm afraid fuck you thank you Arthur. well that's the end of this one thank you all for watching Join me next time on Red Dead Redemption 2 as I do something. I don't remember. That's probably another one that's going to be post-commentary. But we are going to have to wait and see. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph. Signing off. How are you?